hi everybody welcome back to my channel i know it's been a while and i know what you're thinking ashlyn why is your hair wet well it's because <laughs> i decided the best time to make this video was right now um <laughs> and the hair is wet from the shower so i want to thank all of you for tuning in i know it's been a couple weeks since i have uploaded anything and i'm going to be making a video explaining everything that's been going on for the past month um so that video will be coming next week probably um but thank you for tuning in to this video so this video is pretty much an updated in the bag for me um so i've recently switched to a 100 percent disc craft bag um for all the obvious reasons the plastic is just the best and it's what works best for me so i wanted to share with you guys what i'm throwing now Okay, so we're going to start with putt and approach. So I am using the Missy Gannon Rubber Blend Challenger SS's. You can grab these from the Team Discraft website. They are money. That's, I can't, I can't give you any more detail on that. These are money. Love them so much. They come in black and maroon, I think, with several different stamp variations. You should definitely check those out if you're looking for something, you know, grippy. Really like that. So then I am currently throwing two Lunas. So I have a big Z for a little bit more stability and then the six time for just a straight um, or if I need to put it on angle and make it a little bit more flippy. So I have those two. Then I have an ESP Lifeline Zone, which is a little bit straighter. I have the Z Zone, which is my go-to forehand approach disc and the test flight zone os which i stole from like i said which i stole from you know who and i'm really liking this one so so those are my approach disc let me dig in the bag here okay for vids i don't have a ton um if you watch my other in the bag video i didn't have a ton there either um so in order of stability i am throwing the ledgestone crystal sparkle buzz this is my flippiest buzz the one that's been in the bag the longest i've had this since i first started um then i have a six time buzz this one is my favorite 1000 percent my favorite this one is straight um i can throw it on patent pending annie's if i need it like anything this one is my favorite the stability is perfect love it love it this is my lifeline buzz um it is slightly more stable than the six time but it's very dependable very reliable and gives me like a little bit more finish that i can depend on at the end so really love the lifeline and the six time they're amazing i could throw those two interchangeably if need be um but the blue one i'm just a little bit partial to <laughs> So then I have a Malta, which the stamp is like really rubbed off. This one's really old, been in there for a while too. Um, and this one is more stable than that Lifeline Buzz. Um, so if I need something to fight the headwind, I'm either gonna pick up one of these two, um, but this one probably more so. Okay, so we're gonna move to what I would consider my fairway category. I hope all of these are correct. Um, my fairway is kind of range and the way that I throw some of my fairways and some of my distant drivers kind of overlap. So that's why I sort of say this is my mid-range category. So this is my Stalker. I absolutely love this disc. It's just a straight flying disc. If I throw it really hard, I just get a straight, like no finish. Um, if I throw it like 70% power, I get a consistent and reliable finish on it. So the Stalker, I love, love, love. So I've got this in the bag right now instead of an Undertaker. I found the Undertaker was more stable. And so this is sort of like a longer range buzz for me. So really enjoy the Stalker. Um, so then I have the Athena. Really, really love her. She's great. Um, can't say enough good things about her. <laughs> I'm just leaving it at that. Um, I have two heats. So I have a six time heat. Um, and I have this Z heat, which is a lifeline stamp. Um, surprisingly enough, this is the flippier of these heats. Um, so this one is really straight um, and has a finish on it actually. Um, and then this one is, like I said, flippier. I can put it on Annie and it's gonna hold the Annie. Um, then I have a Raptor, which is my go-to uh, for forehands. I throw it on the backhand some if I need just a really big 
a uh, really big stable finish. And then I have this Captain Raptor, which I use mostly for utility shots. The Raptor pretty much gets everything that I need done, um, unless I need just that extra bit of stability. Um, and then I'll pull out the Captain Raptor. All right, so these next two discs are discs that I am, well, really just this disc. So I have a Predator in here. Um, and so the Predator, I really like it. I'm still learning it. Um, but it is really nice for forehands. I really enjoy it. It's pretty good on the backhand too, but it gets stable. So I really like it because it still flies far while maintaining its stability. So it's going to be fun to see how that one turns out. Um, another one that's kind of similar is a Vulture. Um, this particular Vulture is kind of flippy, so I'm thinking about switching it out for another one that I just got. Um, but the Vulture typically stands up to a headwind really well. Um, and that's what I have needed <laughs> this like winter transitioning into the spring because we've been playing a lot in Texas. Um, it's been really windy in Louisiana, so I've been needing that nice driver that can fight the wind. So speaking of that, I have a Missy Gannon Scorch. Uh, this one is very stable for me, very stable. So I can depend on this in a wind. It's not gonna do anything crazy. Um, and I can throw this on any forehand shots and it's gonna hold my line for me. So that's really great. I really enjoy having that one in the bag. And then I have this one, which is a hand-me-down, <laughs> but it's an ESP Scorch uh, flippier, but this is probably my furthest flying disc. Um, so I really like the Scorch. Shout out to Valerie Mendejano for uh, making that her Tour Series disc this year. Um, I also have a Thrasher, which I'm very partial to. This one goes really far for me too. Um, and it is sort of flippy too, so I get the nice little straight flight or I can give it a little S curve, whatever I'm feeling for that day, but I really love Thrasher. I have this Zeus, um, and so this is probably the last distance driver that I will throw on a backhand if I'm trying to get like distance or whatever, um, cause it is typically, you know, on the flippier-ish side, but um, this is pretty stable for me. And if I throw it really hard, I can get it to go really flat and really far. So I'm working with this one a lot to try to master it. Um, the rim is a little bit bigger. So when I hold it, it's a little different and that's, you know, I'm getting used to that but I've thrown this so far, so many times in a headwind, so I'm really excited <laughs> to keep learning the Zeus. Um, and then I would consider these last couple just my like forehand, my go-to forehand disc for distance drives off the tee um, or you know those distance shots on a par four. So I have, so I have this six time force. Um, so actually, uh, he got this for him and it was flippy, he said, so he gave it to me and I have found it to be a little bit flippy as well. So I have to make sure to put the correct angle on it. Um, but when I throw this, this goes so far. So this is definitely my furthest flying forehand disc. Um, and I've gotten several forces since then in case this one goes missing, but I'm very partial to this one. Um, then the newest edition, I have a Venom. Um, I really like the Venom. It's a nice in-between disc and you're going to see what I mean when I show you the next one. Um, but this one maintains all the stability that I need. Um, so if I, you know, don't get the angle quite right because I'm still tweaking and getting my forehand correct, this one will have a little bit of forgiveness and it also goes almost just as far as the force. So I really like the Venom. So I'm also throwing a Nuke OS and this is my beefcake. So I can throw this in the raging tornado headwinds um, and she's not going anywhere. <laughs> so I really like this disc so much. Um, it is so dependable, so stable. I can throw it on any um, and it's gonna come out. It's just a dream. I just really love it and I think <laughs> that this is probably I don't know, I can't choose between the Force and the Nuke OS, which one's my favorite, because they both have different qualities that make them great, but those are my go-to forehand disc that I must have. So, in conclusion, I have all of this beautiful Discraft plastic, <laughs> and I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below or any recommendations on discs that I should be adding to my bag. Love you guys and I will see you on the next one.